be making basics. What's going on YouTube, Beat Making Basics, back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor, go ahead and subscribe, okay? And give me a thumbs up on the video if you like the content. We come with back-to-back -back daily videos. So check this out, man. Today, I'm gonna give you a quick tip on signal flow, okay? On signal flow. When it makes it comes to making your beats, it matters where um, or in which order you put your um, plugins on any any individual um, channel, okay? So let's just take this um, 808, for example. I got an EQ on it, I got a clip distortion, okay? And I got this R bass, all right? Um, let's just check it out now how it sounds um, in this order. All right, so we got a pretty nice sounding 808. Um, but if I was to go ahead and take this um, EQ and put it on last, it's gonna drastically change the way this 808 sounds. So let's just take that and put it on last now. Let's see how it sounds now. And the reason why this sounds different is based on signal flow, okay? Um, if you just wanna imagine for a second, right, that there is a cup of water right here and it is pouring right into this channel. Let's say that that cup of water is pouring actually the audio or the signal of the audio um, right here in this channel. If you look at the water and imagine it coming down here, it has to go to certain filters. So, so let's say this is a filtered water thing. And this is for the example purposes. Depending on which filter or which plugin you put right here is gonna depend depending on how it affects the sound, okay? Or the water, if you will, with this example. All right, but anyway, you just wanna make sure that you're putting like your EQ first, okay? I, I usually just, if you notice all of my videos, I always put my EQ first. Um, I, after that, I usually put like a compressor, those type of plugins next. Okay. And then after that, we're putting other effects like, you know, your delays, uh, your EQ, you know, not, not EQs, your delays, your reverbs and different things like that. Okay. So there's a rule of thumb here. I, uh, even when I'm sw swapping out this like distortion with this R bass, it's going to definitely change how the sound sounds. So basically, signal flow wise, it's gonna hit this EQ first, then this R bass, and then last is gonna hit that distortion right here. This way is, you know, sounding different if I put it this way. And it's also a way to control your sound. So like say if you want it to sound distorted, but you'd still want it to sound clean, then you might wanna put your distortion like farther up in the actual uh, chain right here all right so play around with that like i said a good good rule of thumb is eq first then your um like compressors and stuff like that and then after that you're going to put all the other different type of plugins different effects like reverb and delay all right just wanted to throw that tip out here just uh but thank you so much for watching Anyway, I do got also courses that you can buy um, and download and have on your computer without having to get onto the internet and everything like that, that you can get from my site, beatmakingbasics.com. I also have drum kits and sound kits um, on my site as well. So make sure you go check those out. They're pretty affordable. I got some sales going right now. So grab those and make sure, like I said, if you're brand new, make sure you get subscribed. Make sure you give me a thumbs up on the video if you liked the content. But thank you so much. I will see you in the next video. Peace.